Okay, let's continue on with a discussion about a rigid body rotating about a fixed point. Okay, let's take this rigid body okay, that's spinning at this point right here. So this rigid body may have um, an angular velocity omega having a unit of radian per second. It could also have an angular acceleration, okay, having a unit of radian per second squared. Okay. Now, at any point along this rigid body, you can you can find out the velocity, okay, if you know the angular velocity. And the velocity at this point is simply the radius times omega. The radius being this radius right here, this distance. Okay? So from the point of uh, origin to the point where you're taking the velocity. The same thing, if I want to find out the velocity at this point right here, it will be a little less because the radius from here to here is a little less now. Okay, so velocity at this point okay, will be something different. Okay, so it's R1 is R1, velocity 2 is R2 times omega. That's R2. Okay. Now, <coughs> this omega right here okay, is angular acceleration, okay, and alpha is angular acceleration. Uh, Omega is angular velocity, alpha is angular acceleration, and both apply to the entire rigid body. Okay, so at any point along a rigid body, it, um, it always have the same angular velocity and acceleration. Okay, but for the linear velocity and acceleration, okay, it's different okay, for each point that you're looking at. Okay because now it's a function of radius, right? Okay. <clears throat> Just like velocity and acceleration, the angular velocity and angular acceleration have direction as well. It's vector. Now the vector are actually in the k direction, which is in or out of the board. Okay. If I use this coordinate system, okay, the radial transverse coordinate system. R direction pointing out of the uh, the origin, okay. and then the theta direction, okay, which is the the rotational direction, and then K okay, is either in or out of the board. Now, whether it's in or out, well, you need to follow the right hand rule, okay, which says that um, going from R to theta will give you a positive K. Okay. This means that if you use the right hand, stick in the R direction, okay, and then curl it in the theta direction, okay, and then where your thumb is pointing is the positive K direction. In this case, K, positive K is into the border. Okay. So my omega vector is into the board. Okay. So that's the vector direction. Okay. Although you see, you only see that the scalar omega is just this way, right? It's on this board, but the actual vector of the omega okay, is actually into the board. Okay. Same thing for angular acceleration. It's also in the k direction. Okay. So you need to follow this right-hand rule. Okay. Now, if you're crossing okay, from theta back to R, okay, this means that you need to reverse the sign of the K direction, the third component, okay? So from theta, right, so from theta back to R, it gives you negative K, right, which is the opposite K direction. Okay, now, the relationship between the linear velocity and angular velocity is given by this equation. Okay? It's a cross product. Okay. All right?
cross product. The first vector cross it with the second vector. The first vector is the angular velocity vector. Okay. Cross it with the r vector. Okay. So each of the displacement has a vector as well. Okay. So the velocity right, equals omega cross r. Okay. Now the this is the the vector representation. Right. Now this is the scalar representation. Okay. So this gives you both the magnitude as well as direction. Okay. Now what direction is that? Well look at this. Omega according to this is in the k direction, positive k. R is in the U R direction. Okay. So using right hand rule, okay, K cross U R. So I get K cross U R. Okay. K cross it with U R gives me positive U theta. Okay, it's because I'm going along the right hand rule and following this uh, the arrow right here. So K cross U R gives me positive U theta direction, which is consistent with the picture here. See the velocity is going down this way, which is in the positive U theta direction. And the magnitude is simply the magnitude of R times the magnitude of omega, which is R1 omega. Okay. For acceleration, just use the definition, which is dvdt, which is v is right here. So since it's cross product, you need to um, use chain rule. So um, omega dot, which is d omega dt, cross with r plus, and omega cross with r dot. And then this turns out to be this form right here, okay, which has two terms, one and two terms. Okay. Now, we simplify it further by applying this equation to rotation by a fixed point on a 2D plane, on a, on a plane like this, right? So, two dimensional plane. And this can be further simplified to this first term minus omega square, omega magnitude square times the r vector. That's all. Okay. And this is in the theta direction. Okay. You can actually prove it, right? Because it's k, this is r, so k cross r gives you theta. And this is in the r direction. Okay. So u r direction. Okay. And in negative sign, okay. This is a negative sign, actually, because this is in the negative r direction going back into. Okay. And then acceleration, then um, would be in whatever direction that, that is. Okay. So, acceleration can be in, in any component. 